for today, I'm going to share to you one uh, web tool that I have discovered. It's called Classroom Screen. Now, Classroom Screen is a free web tool wherein you don't need to sign up anymore to get an access on it. It has over 10 widgets or tools which you will definitely love because it is user uh, friendly it is very simple to use yet it is very useful and it is like a one-stop shop that will help us teachers that will help you to manage your class be it an online class or in the real classroom setting and it is also uh, it can also work with online video conferencing platform like zoom so these are the features of the classroom screen so you may change the background of your screen there is a randomizer there you can monitor the sound level of your device you can generate a qr code there is a whiteboard or a text area there are work symbols there that you may use while your kids or while your students are working on an activity. There is a stopwatch and a timer and there is also a clock and calendar. For you to access the classroom screen, open a browser and then type in classroomscreen.com. Okay, and you will see this interface so you may just click on this button here on the upper right corner which says launch or you can just click on this and another tab will open and that will be your working screen already so first let us check on the settings button here so here you may change the uh, language but for now i'm just going to leave it like that and then this one i already named my screen and then here you may type in the description of your screen for now i'm going to leave it blank and then there is an option here if you would like to to hide all these tools or hide these widgets there's an option here the uh, arrow down button click on that so the widgets will be hidden so put it back just click on the arrow again if you would like to use the whole screen of your computer or the whole screen of your laptop click on this there so to, to exit or to minimize your screen just press escape on your keyboard or press this again let us now explore on the different widgets here in our toolbar so let us change our background first by clicking on the first widget this one on the left so you you will see here that there are a lot of photos animations and colors which you could choose from when you if you would like to change the background of your screen let's say i will choose this one okay i chose this photo so that is how you are going to change your background now next let us try another background let's have one from the animations What about trying to just use a single color for our background? Okay. But for now, I'm going to choose this one. So let us now use the second widget, the random name widget. So a number will appear on the icon of the widget. This number means the number of that certain widget uh, you are using in your screen. So right now I have one random name widget. 
that is why there is number one on the icon but if I click on this there will be two random name widgets on my screen that is why number two will appear here on the icon but for now I'm going to remove the other one I'm just going to use this you may resize this one and then uh, this is the randomizer so how are you going to use the randomizer you have the option to type the name here or if you have the file already let's say mine I have I saved the names here in Microsoft Excel I just copy that and then I'll paste that here just make sure that there is only one name per line and then in one list the maximum number of names is 50 right now I have 19 so how is this going to work you may start using this randomizer by clicking this button choose Now, there is a settings button here. If you click on that, these widget options will appear. Now, one of the widget options is that um, you may have the option to remember chosen students. If you click that on, so if you notice, the names of uh, the names that were chosen earlier were, were recorded here. And then, uh, these names will not be chosen anymore. If you are going to turn on this remember chosen students but if you would like their names to, to be chosen again you just turn it off this one enable animation so there's an animation already but if you're going to turn this off this is what will happen there so I prefer turning on the animation Okay, let us have the third, let us have the third widget, the dice widget. So you have three options here. You may use one die, two dice, or three dice. So if you're, if you're going to use the die or the dice already, you're just going to click on the button, this button. If you would like to use two dice, Here you may just uh, change the order of the background of that um, dice widget. So I'm just this order. So let us now proceed to the fourth widget, which is the sound level widget. So here you have the option to change the level of sound sensitivity and the maximum noise. I am going to put off this to level 1. My microphone is on so that the application can detect the sound produced around me. I'm going to turn on the bell. If I turn this on, uh, this will make a sound reminding me that it's too noisy around, my, around me. There. There, it sounded so that means the sound or the, the sound of my voice is higher compared to the level of sensitivity and the maximum noise that I set if I will stop talking for a while you will notice you will notice that the counter will be zero it turned zero because there is no noise around me so this is how so this is how the sound level widget works 
if you want to generate a QR code for your class, simply click this, the QR code uh, widget. I will remove this one first. And then, uh, enter the URL here of the website. We would like your students to visit. This one. Let's say I would like my students to, to watch this video. I'll copy the URL and then and then I'm going to paste it here. Okay. And then uh, if you notice the tool instantly generated a QR code which my students can scan using their device like their cell phone okay next let us have the draw widget but before that I'm just going to close all of this first this is the draw widget The, by the way, this is the whiteboard for the classroom screen. So you can just extend the size of this one by pulling the cord, this corner. Or if you would like the whole screen of your desk to be covered, just like this. But I want it smaller. I'm going to put it back. Okay, now. There are different tools here. This is the toolbar of the whiteboard or the draw widget. There is a pen here. And the pen has six levels of um, thickness. So let us try each of this. Let's try using other colors. There's an eraser tool here. There. Um, there is an undo button here. A redo button. And you may erase everything by clicking this. There. Now if you're going to check the settings button, there are available background patterns here. Let us try the first background pattern is just like um, writing time. So I'm going to try the writing Let us now try the other pattern pattern. So this is like a graphing paper. So this may be used for math.
there. Let's try the other uh, background pattern. Let's try this. Reading time, you may use this background. There are other uh, background patterns here which you can use for your class. You can even upload here your own background for the whiteboard, or you may just choose the a plain colored uh, whiteboard here, or the plain colored board. the next widget that is the text widget so this is the text widget you may uh, write out you may encode your, your instructions here for your class and then you may customize this by changing the font style available font style here Change the font size. You may also change the text color. You may put this in bold letters. You may italicize it. You may underline it. You may align it to the left or to the right. Or you may put it in the center. Or you may just And then there is an available uh, button here or tool here for subscript and superscript and you can also stripe out now these are the work symbols you may resize this you may change the color of the background Now the work symbols can be used as visual reminders for our class and there are four options here. If you want them to work silently, you may just uh, flash this on your screen. If you would like them to talk uh, softly, this these two uh, work symbols may be used if they are working by group. Next, I'm going to close this first. Let us have the traffic light. So this can also be used as visual reminders for our students. Example, you are going to give a quiz and then the lights here may be used as their reminder. So before they take the quiz, I want to remind them that when they see when they see the green light, that means it's they are going to take the quiz. They see this that means there are only a few minutes left for them to finish the quiz or the TVT and red light means that they are going to uh, they need to pass away their paper because the time is up. This one is the timer. So you may use this together with the with the traffic light. So you can adjust the So, 
choose or customize. You can customize the sound like that. Your timer will produce. So there, these are the different uh, widgets in the classroom screen app. Now, if you click on this hamburger icon here on the upper left corner, there are other options or, or features here. You may create a new screen. You may create a poll or you can do group um, groupings using this group maker. Now let us try the uh, this one first, the group maker. So here you may just type in the names of your students or again you may just copy it from the file, your existing file. And then Here, you have the uh, options to, to select how many groups um, would you like the application to create. For example, we are going to have two groups. Then click um, create groups. And then the application will regroup or will do the groupings for you. Let's say we're going to have uh, five groups. try creating a poll so again click on the hamburger button here and then click new poll and then this is the sample question and these are the options of the students for their answers so how are you going to make your own poll click on the settings button okay this part And then you may change the the, the poll mode by clicking on this. But of course, we have to explain the, to the students the meaning of these options. So just this one. So there. I just go back. So you will see the screens that I created here, you will see here the poll that I made, the groupings that I made using the group maker, and then just a reminder, all your screens, all these created screens will be gone when you close this, because the option of saving the screens that you made, that you are making, is only available if you are account is the pro account or the premium account and that will cost us if you want to avail the pro or the premium account that will cost us $29.90 per year what we have, what you have seen, what I have used is only the basic and that is a free account. So that's it. Thank you once again for watching my video and watch out for more video tutorials that I will be uploading. If you find this tutorial helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Bye-bye!